Hello, uh, today's date, it is, uh, well, I can't tell you, let's see, it's the 22nd because I'm, can you see here on the computer screen, that is, I just got a message, it was a very different one, very colorful down here in this corner, like this big, and uh, it said that <clears throat> we're ready to install the newest version of Windows with new features and new something else. It's going to take longer than normal to install. Do you want to go ahead? So I said yes. So it's at 7, I just, at uh, 2.23 p.m. It's 2.26, so three minutes to go. Uh, I said yes, and we're at 7%. Uh, this morning I, I've been getting the, I've switched back and forth, I was getting the slow uh, ring update on Windows 10. Then I went to the, I clicked this morning early to go to the fast ring. And it tried to install a later version on my thing, but it popped up then when he got done all doing that, which took a while, popped up and said it hadn't been installed. Uh, but I had, I believe before that, just clicked to start sending me the next version of Windows 10, you know, release, pre-release. And so that's what I'm apparently getting. I'm sure I'm getting that now it's still at 7%. So we'll see. I guess we're going to, I guess I'm going to get a look at the Windows 10 version, not the one that's going, that is now just finishing up that we're all going to see. Well, I guess I won't because I'll be on the development ring for the next version, which is already in progress. So, uh, still at 7%. I got a feeling it's going to take a long time. Hope it works. I hope it doesn't trash my computer. Uh, I don't recommend, I've, I've said this repeatedly in videos here, I do not recommend doing this. If you have two computer systems, you know, you have your one that you depend on, that you do all your work on, and that you need. And then you have another computer system that you can play around with and it doesn't matter what happens. So, yeah, go ahead if you want to play with, you know, new releases on that, fine. I don't have, uh, this is my key main computer, although I do have a Chrome box, which, I, which is on the shelf. I actually hooked it up today for just to check it, I haven't hooked it up in a while, and, uh, but, uh, so, um, it's still at 7%. Unfortunately, another thing, too, I do not recommend, which I know, and I have been doing it for years, I'm going to have to sit here and watch this screen, because... I have dual boot. I have Linux. I have uh, a version of not Ubuntu, but it is it meant. I think it meant. I have it on here, and then I have Windows 10 on here, and I do not know. And I didn't want to take the chance because I did that one time a long time ago, messing with the root. I, I had to many years ago. I had to format everything, start all over again. I didn't want to try to change it around. So when my computer boots up, if I don't cursor down, if, it, if I just leave it, it boots into Linux. I have to cursor down to get it to... So I'm going to have to sit here and make sure, because when it's doing these, it needs to reboot a few times. And if it goes into Linux, that doesn't accomplish, you know. So I'm going to have to sit here but I'm not going to make you sit here with me. 
By the way, I'm recording this with my Panasonic G7 camera, which I almost never use, and I should use, and I'm going to try to start using it. So, in my future, you're, you're still going to see my sort of a split screen, you know, a browser or something on one side, and over on the other side, a uh, image of me coming from the uh, uh, Logitech uh, USB and um, then when I'm just going to be talking for a while if it's going to be something like this then I will go to this video and then I will have to uh, go into the process Okay, I am back and I don't think I told you my name and where I am. I'm Jim Howard in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date is uh, March 22nd of 2019. And you just saw a little video with my G7 where I told you that I was getting uh, the brand new version uh, that is coming in the future of Windows 10. No, I did not. It turns out, as you can look up here, you will see that uh, Windows 10 Insider Preview 1.8362.1 is what I have. And I believe there is, because I, the other day it tried to install 18362.2, which did not install. So I think that's what it was trying to install again, I believe. So I do not have the, I'm not on the pre-Windows, so I just popped this up here, Tragedy of Biblical proportions, hundreds of bodies. Line a road in Mozambique. Witnesses say the floodwaters have formed an instant, an inline island that is visible from space. Idila could be the deadliest tropical cyclone to hit Africa. Wow. Trump says he's rescinding the day-old North Korea-related sanctions. I didn't know we had sanctions. Well, I didn't know we had some that went into effect yesterday. Um, what else is going on in the news? Um, Anyway, Miller Coors sues rival over Super Bowl ad. Papa John's has found a new spokesperson. So forth. Wow. Poor Mozambique. Anyway, I'm going to stop this. I'm going to go ahead and I think I'll go ahead and upload this. Because I'm also testing and it looks like it's working. I'm testing the or okay, I'm now using the blue not I keep keep saying I'm testing it but I've I'm switching back and forth but um uh, I am uh, using the blue Blue Yeti looks like it's working. I'm going by the, and I believe that we'll see when I splice these together that the Panasonic G7 is going to work out, I believe. So, I'm going to try to get a little better organized, and I'm going to start finally doing some stuff with the video editor. Although that's work, and I hate to do work. I'm too old to be doing work. Anyway, uh, 
I'm going to go ahead and upload this. So, thank you very much for watching.